guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cassidy and today is a whole day. I'm going to be showing you a couple of things that I have been picking up. My husband had treated me to a couple of things. So it's going to be a collective of things. It's not going to be just fashion or just makeup. It's going to be a couple of things. Since uh, hot curlers, stuff for your house. That's going to be my haul. So if you guys want to see what this haul is going to be about or the things that I have been picking up, make sure you stay right here. So guys, let's get into this haul. Um, the first store that I'm going to go with, I haven't shopped in this store in so long. But um, I happened to be in Atlantic Station and I seen, I was coming out of the H&M. By the way, that was my first time in Atlantic Station. That is a nice little area over there. I think that's going to be like my summer little area if you want to go with your girlfriend and go pick up like some shopping things or makeup and they have like little outside restaurants. Really nice. So if you live in Atlanta, definitely check out Atlantic Station. Um, Bath and Body Works. They have a sale over the week. I don't know if it's like for Mother's Day or what, but they had a sale. Now, um, I can't wear perfume because I'm actually allergic to it. So, boohoo, yeah, me. I can't wear perfume, which is so sad because I love to smell it. That's why I'm like obsessed when my husband wears cologne because I can't wear it. So, it's nice. I was actually looking for a scent called Midnight Pomegranate or something like that. It only comes out in the summertime. It's a pomegranate scent. Love pomegranate smells as far as body care. And the lady actually showed me something close to it, and it's called Forever Red. And this is what it looks like. I am obsessed with this. I have been using it so much since I've got it. It is definitely going to be in my favorites. Um, and what I like about it is so unique. It actually looks like a perfume bottle. When you buy a fragrance or a cologne or a perfume, you get like this really fancy bottle. So I like the fact that this bottle looks like that. It makes you feel like, you know, you're getting a perfume or it goes off like this. has this pretty ceramic looking bow and the smell is incredible along with this this was $24 for this this wasn't included in the sale this was separate because it's not one of the signature um, fragrances this is actually from their forever line so their forever line I guess is like more of a like perfume performance kind of line I got the uh, forever red luxury body cream so I like the body cream because it's super thick and my skin has been so dry since moving here. If you look how thick that is. And the smell. It's like pomegranate with a hint of floral. Now for the ones that I got in the deal of the buy three free. I got buy three get three free. Was the Maui Mango Surf. And this is what these two look like. Really. And if you know me or you've been watching this channel. I'm mango obsessed smells so good and um they didn't have the body cream in this but i had to get it it was mango smell great and it's like mango but not too fruity like i don't know what is in it, vanilla or something if you're in here definitely go to check this out smells really good carried away carried away this is it right here these are the two fragrances i got and they didn't have the body butter in this as well but it was a very unique smell that i liked and it was new so i went with this one moonlight path who doesn't know this scent and this is what these look like and this one is a little different this is the 24 hour moisture sheer shea buttercream and this one is super thick too which is good so i was happy that i was able to at least get two buttercreams now i know you're looking like she only got lotion if uh the sprays i cannot use um like scented body wash my areas are very sensitive so i use a lot of fragrance free products and then so i use scented lotions and mist and body sprays and oils because I can't use the soap. This is what I got for Sephora. And um, Sephora has some really unique samples this time around. I, I don't know. I feel like it's better to order offline. A lot of times I go in the store because me, I like to see the product. I like to feel it because you think one thing by looking at it, but to actually be up and close in person with it. It's something way different. 
So, um, the first sample they gave me was the Color Effects Total Cover Cream Foundation Ultimate 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Boy, that was a lot to say. So, looks like this gives you enough shades. And what I like about it, because working in retail, I know the samples don't always complement our skin tone. So, what I like about this sample is it complements a very of skin tone. So, I thought that was cool. Then, I got, I used my points. I don't remember how much points this was, but I used my points and I got the... 1 million fragrance. I see a lot of men get this and I want to try it out. See if my husband liked it. See if I like it and then maybe we may purchase it. Hachi Bright Crystal Absolute. Cute bottle. Not a good smell. I can't wear this stuff anyway but I mean it was part of the sample but it does not smell good. Which is the Chloe fragrance. Don't like that either. If you spend over $25 or something like that you get the Urban Decay Revolution high color lip gloss now that I liked and they give you a good amount it comes in like this little card thing and then you open it and then it tells you all the other colors that they have and this is the sample right here I'll take it out so you can see it I guess it looks just like how the packaging looks oh boy it has this pretty wrapped in and this is so cute this is gonna be like my little pocketbook lip gloss or something I think this is cute and this color is bittersweet high gloss these are supposed to be like really pigmented but it doesn't really look so to me but this is the color right here it's the artist palette Anastasia Beverly Hills the colors in this palette is so pretty I mean I'm kind of mad I didn't able to catch the Ambrisi palette but the colors in this palette are so nice very summer tropical but still kind of neutral and the brush is really good too a lot of palettes don't give you actually give you a brush you can use so this was actually you know pretty good I probably use this for like uh, cream products and then this is like a blending brush so this was actually good the palette I got was the Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette, Sugary Sweet Eyeshadow Collection. How cute. The box is so cute, isn't it? This is the palette. And the colors in here are really pretty as well. And these are the colors. So pretty, very unique, different. The other one I had, the Cat Eyes Palette, made me get this one. So I like the colors in it. I like the consistency. Moving on, we're going to go right into Marshalls. So, you know, recently I cut off my hair. So, I actually was able to catch this little... I've been wanting one of these for a while because I do hair as well. So, this is the Cortex International Platinum Series uh, Flat Iron. This is the box. I've already used it to, like, you know, curl, like, your little short sides. So this is what it looks like. It's so nice. It doesn't have like any temperatures on it, but this thing really gets hot. And I like to do this so like my daughter's hairs are out. I can do like the edges. I could curl all the back of my hair where the short hairs are. So I'm happy that I got this. But I figured like I could use it to do like um, cause the thing that holds my eyeliners and lip liners and stuff is just like I, I have nowhere else to stick them. It's not enough room. So I figured I could use that for this, like you know maybe eyeliners, lip liners, and lip losses. So this is why I picked this up, and this was five ninety nine. It's office supplies, but you'd be surprised. A lot of office supplies you can incorporate into your beauty room. So I went with this, and it was only six bucks. So why not? whose product is called um, the Good Hair Sense Nano Ceramic Curling Iron. When I tell you that this thing was worth every penny, and I feel like I actually cheated Marshalls because I feel like it's way, it's worth way more. This is actually $19.99, and it says that um, it's a hairstyle on how how it's a ceramic iron that's one so you know it's not gonna fry the hair or damage the hair with heat product so that's really good also it has like 
digital dials on here and this thing goes by the texture of your hair so the highest one it goes up to 440 no 430 degrees which is super hot because there's some stuff that goes up to 450 but for this to be 430 I feel like it's just about the same thing 430 is supposed to be for coarse hair 400 is supposed to be for textured hair 300 is for fine hair 190 is for very thin and fragile hair and then it has the off button and this lights up so i thought that was cool you know depending on what kind of customer you get or what kind of hair you're actually doing you know what set to put this on walmart going to walmart just for some household supplies and i ran across these it's like a I actually wore this one it's like a three tiered layer necklace kind of thing and this was so cute originally ten dollars i caught them for seven and these are so pretty i want to go back and get another one but i said let me just get two see how it works so i actually got this one and you layer these i think these are so cute with like tees or whatever so i got these and i got a silver one the silver one is the one i actually wore so you know you're not gonna see how layered it is but it comes with three necklaces as well so it comes with like this one and then it comes with this one and then you layer it with this um paparazzi love these these are for the drama and this is paparazzi kpe 19 paparazzi 03 and love these these are full of drama um juicy value number five kpe 16 love these these are like you know kind of they're not natural but they're not like over too much i like your basic lash to me and these are my favorite I, every time i go in the beauty supply store i always pick up like five or six of these and this is the velvet 03 kp44 i use these in most of my tutorials love those picked up these two new lip glosses and these colors this color is cairo and Brenos Aries. Brenos Aries is like a coral and Cairo is like a nude. Um, I've been watching Razor. Uh, I'll leave it down below. It's a YouTuber. She like specializes in, she does a lot of tutorials on short hair. And I find when I curl my hair, my real hair doesn't curl, just the extensions. So I've been seeing that she's been using um, Murray's Pure Australian Beeswax. It helps seals and conditions the ends. She used coconut oil like me, so that was like without a given. So I was excited about this. And then I found a new edge control. The jar is bigger, and this was like only $4.99. I was, so, you know, edge control can be so expensive. I had to order the Sasha Buttercup. I have used this in my last tutorial, and I'm really impressed. I'm gonna order another one really like this i think it's like uh 20 bucks for this but i like the jar i like that you can open it and then you know just pour it into the jar and a little goes a long way it's not as powdery and chalky as the benai so this is what i was heard and it's to be true so we're gonna go with mac um mac is a very quick short haul it's just two lipsticks and two eyeshadows you know just adding things to your kid or reing up and the first lipstick that i got was uh freckle tone by mac it's just my favorite favorite nude it's like a nude with like a heap of orange in it i swatch it this is the color right here and the other color that i got that i hear a lot about is um cream cup and this is what cream cup looks like and i'll swatch that really quick for you and this is cream cup right here and I just picked up two shadows the first one I picked up is red brick I really like that so it'd be a nice crease color for my complexion or darker and I picked up honesty I love this color right here and this is honesty I have used this a couple of times shoes that I've been picking up um, this is very different. I'm not really a sneakerhead, used to be when I was young, but um, 
my husband treated me to some J's. Told me that the sneakers that I had were like from seven months ago and I needed a new pair. So, these are the Jordan Retro 11s and they're in gray and blue. And for some reason, if I get a Jordan, it, majority of the time it's gonna be these because I'm not a sneaker person. I swear to you, I own about four sneakers. And I just got two more. I bought one for myself and my husband bought me one. And I got these from Target. These are Sam and Libby's. I thought these were so cute. I like that they lace up. I like the little tassels on them. And I see a lot of, I have another pair of shoes like these, but they were just some basic black shoes, $40. You can get the away and go with a couple of things for these, so I really wanted to pick these up. I like them. They're treated to these babies. Oh, I'm so into French. And if you see my Instagram, you see that I had wore these not too long ago and i think these are beautiful i wanted the magenta ones but those are like sold out online in store everywhere so i went with the next unusual color what was the lightning yellow picked up these these are gorgeous i went to return that shirt from my other wall with the bronze in it and i came across these <clears throat> these are so pretty these were 90 dollars jordan retro 5 I got these. I have very little feet. My feet are a size 5. I wear the same size as my 14-year-old uh, daughter. We're going to move on to clothes now. So, going on with clothes now. Um, Zara, when I picked up those shoes, I also picked up, picked up this really pretty maxi dress. And it's just a basic spaghetti strap maxi dress. It doesn't have any slits or anything on the side really basic for like you know you're going shopping or out to lunch or something like that a white and black one because I have those black sandals from Zara and I felt like this was so cute and these both are $19.90 and I like how it's shaped in the front picked up this shirt and I like the fringe on the bottom and it's like a crop top I thought this would be so nice with the shoes I thought this was so cute and I wore it with like some high waist jeans so it's like um it has like a cape style shoulders and this is the shirt right here so it's like cape style shoulders <clears throat> it's baggy but cropped so it's blousy and this one was $17.90 really like this and it's kind of the same it's a, it's not suede, but it feels like it a little bit. I don't know what kind of material that is. I picked up this, like if it's breezy or something like that. I picked up this nice see-through, like sweatshirt. Really nice. And H&M and Atlantic Station is huge. Their accessory station is like the biggest I've seen. And I'm from New York. The biggest I've seen. This shirt was $17.95 and it's in a large. is um this blouse right here it's so nice it has like a chain neckline so you don't really have to put on any accessories it's so pretty it's not really cropped but it's like tailored to where it doesn't go below your waist and this shirt was $34.95 and I really like it these earrings I thought this was so pretty but my short haircut these were so nice. I'm telling you, their accessory section alone, I could have like just spent everything in my account. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I wore this. Um, this is like one of those shirts where it's split on the side high. And then it has like a little keyhole in the back. This is in a plus size, it's extra large. This shirt was um, $22.90 something, Bermuda shorts. These are so cute and they're like folded at the bottom. And these are a size 14. These were $19.50. Some candies from them. And you never can never have enough white candies to put under things. Your little kimonos, uh, a sweater, a see-through shirt. And these were $2, $1.90 for these. So I picked up three of these. 
this shirt which says yes please and it's a crop and it's like um kind of see-through on the top and then it's like t-shirt material and it's see-through on the bottom too and this shirt was a large and those camisoles are extra large this was $14.90 oh like 70s boho it's so cute right this is a kimono it's so nice I love the detailing on it I don't know if you can see that but it's like embroidery and then it has like these little peggy things hanging off of it and this is an extra large and this was $29.90 and this is still a little big but I felt like I could have got a larger in it, but they this was plus size. They didn't have it in the um, regular size. I got this stuff out of the store. I didn't see it. this necklace. And this necklace was like $25. And I also got, I don't know if you can see it, this earring set. So it comes with like this little top earring right here. And then you have like the little cuffling earring. And, I got these three colors right here. Um, this orange one is called Island Mango. Um, for some reason, I don't see the name on this one. Or this one. <laughs> but these are like nudes. One has like pink in it and one is more like a brownish kind of nude. necklace it's really pretty so my greatest purchase of all I have been wanting a hookah machine for so long and I like to entertain I like to have people over and cook and stuff like that and when we go to the club we definitely like to blow hookah so I went to a really cool spot out here. It's called the Hookah Hookup of Lilburn, Lilburn, Georgia. And it's so, I really thought it was like super expensive, but turns out that it's not. And it's so cool. This is what the base of the hookah looks like. Isn't this like so girly and pretty? Like this is it. So this would be like the base where you put like the water if you want to mix it with like alcohol and this is the actual thing you like you know you set that on top and these are the like two holes where you hook the holes up to to actually smoke it and this would be the top where you would put you would put that on top of there and this is the actual thing that helps you smoke the hookah and you will put that on top of there like that and then you put the shishu which is actually what you smoke that's like the flavors and stuff you put the shishu in here and then you cover it with a foil these are the holes and then it comes with tongs and a poker so the tongs are like for the coal and the poker is actually poke the hole so the smoke can ventilate through when you're actually pulling. It's not that simple. You have to buy everything. You know, you pay $25 in the spot and you get everything with it. So, they have this really neat thing, which is called the Havana. The Havana is the last piece that you had to buy separate because, you know, you don't really need it if you smoke it in the house. But, you know, when you outside, I have like a deck and stuff like that. Which I plan, we don't smoke in the house. I plan to do that outside. So it's a uh, hoover. You actually put this on top and, and it has like the holes in it. So when you smoke it, the coal will burn slow. Like mint. I like, even though I like the flavors, I love to have mint inside of my um, flavors. So this is the mint. I bought small mints because I plan to mix them with the flavors. I'll show you what the shishu looks like. It looks like this. So this is like tobacco with like honey and molasses. So this is right here because I, you know, 
got some stuff I actually got to try one of their premium flavors and this is called what mango tango so this is what it is and it smells like it's so potent it smells so good got like the mouth pieces if I have like company or whatever and these were 10 cent a piece so I guess the coal the coal is these are 20 square coals and these are coconut coals so it wouldn't have like a funny taste now the flavors I got I got pineapple haze and this one was $6.99 for this jar. And this has 50 grams in this one. So, now of course, I got the biggest mango they had. And um, this one is start by Starbuzz. And this is 250 milligrams. And this one was $25. But, again, but I got 15% off of this. So, it wasn't that bad. And this stuff is actually going to last me a little while because... I don't plan on smoking hookah every day. If you guys are interested and you, I don't know if they have them in New York or wherever, but if you live in Atlanta, they have a lot of them. They have about maybe five to six stores. I know they have one in Atlanta, but the one by me is in Lilburn. So it's um, Hookah Hookup. Look them up. They have an Instagram, Hookah Hookup. Um, the one I went to, the guys are like really great there. Shout out to David and Brianna. They have like, they are so cool. And they really give you the knowledge and tell you what to do. I mean, you know how to smoke it, but you don't know the perks of what, you know, how potent certain ingredients are, what tastes good, and how to put the machine together. They were really patient, really nice, really looked out, cool spot, cool people. And hey guys, so that was my haul. I hope that you liked everything that I got. Um... If you live in Atlanta, definitely check out Atlantic Station. Right now, like, that's going to be my summer spot. The restaurants, the environment, everything is super cool. Also, make sure you guys check out Hookah Hookah. They're not sponsoring this video, but I thought these guys were super cool. And if you like Hookah Like Me, it's definitely a great spot to go to. It's not too expensive. They have something for everyone's budget. So you might want to check them out. And... Go to Walmart and check out those necklaces. Oh my God, those necklaces are amazing. For seven bucks, like, come on. Where are you going to get that? So again, guys, this was my haul. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, which is Glitter Project. I've been interacting with a couple of people there. So it's always good to meet more people and get you to come to my channel. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram, which is Beats by Glitter. And last, Facebook, which is the Glitter Project, Inc. Um, it's always great to share with you guys and do these videos. And I like that you guys have been requesting certain things i get excited to do videos that you requested so if you haven't you have to check out my brow tutorial that i just gonna post and that's it i can't wait to see you guys in my next video i have so much coming i'm gonna do another husband video I'm not sure what it's gonna be but i have another tutorial coming for you and i'm definitely gonna bring a lookbook for you so if you guys have any ideas of videos that you would like me to do or any kind of tutorials you would like me to do leave it below and if you like this video definitely thumbs it up i know it seemed like it was a lot but i definitely just wanted to share it with you i got some great buys especially on the hookah so so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.